A tragic house fire in New Jersey claimed the lives of a grandmother and her nine-month-old granddaughter. Jennifer Joyce is live in Hamilton Township with the latest there. Jenny. Good evening, Shana. Well, investigators tell me that they are wrapping up here at the scene. They spent all day searching inside the home and around the property, looking for clues as to how and where this devastating fire started as family members and neighbors grieve such a heavy loss. People gathering, embracing at the scene of a tragic house fire that claimed the lives of a woman in her 40s and her nine-month-old granddaughter. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office says three other people are undergoing treatment at St. Barnabas Burn Center in Livingston. It was good people, that's all. They was real good church going people. A man who says he's an uncle of the fire victims arrived at the scene this morning after visiting his nephew at the hospital. He says his nephew has burns over 75% of his body. The family is devastated. Unfortunately, my niece in law lost her life and my great great niece lost her life, which who was born last year on my birthday, which was my birthday present now. I don't have only gonna have memories of her now. This is all too much for me. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office says the fire started just after 3.30 this morning on the 200 block of Woodlawn Avenue. Flames tore through the wood frame duplex. The roof partially collapsed. I feel bad for them, including a little baby. Joe Shama says he owns the other half of the duplex recently restored, now heavily damaged. He says his tenants in two separate units got out safely. They're shaking up, yeah, I saw them right away. Like 4 o'clock, I came over, I saw them. The Red Cross is assisting three heartbroken families. They're offering more than shelter. It's important to us to be here for the families, to make sure that, you know, we're, we're meeting emotional needs and, and support, just being there, someone to, to hug. We're going to lead us in the Lord's hand. We're going to pray on this. Yeah. And all day long, we've seen family members of the fire victims stop by the home, some staying for hours, heartbroken and in disbelief. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office is leading this investigation. Shana? Our hearts go out to the family. Just devastating. Thank you, Jenny. First, we are following breaking news just into our newsroom within the last hour. Mercer County prosecutors say a man has been arrested for setting a fire that killed three people, including his own baby girl in Hamilton Township. Michael Sanders is facing a number of charges, including three counts of first-degree murder. Prosecutors say he was arrested this morning. The fire happened early last Friday. Sanders' nine-month-old little girl and her grandparents were all killed. Investigators say Sanders was seen on surveillance video buying a torch lighter and cigars. They also say he allegedly warned the baby's mother, texting her to get out of the house hours before. Thanks for checking out DJ Trendy Nation with the latest news. Please like and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you. Today I will be talking about Michael Sanders, who set his ex-girlfriend's parents' house on fire, killing his infant daughter and her grandparents, all because the child's mother didn't want to be with him, and finally left him over past domestic violence abuse. According to ABC6, officials in Mercer County, New Jersey have arrested and charged a man with murder in connection with a fatal fire in Hamilton Township. Michael Sanders, 23, of Trenton, is facing murder, assault and arson charges in the Friday morning blaze that killed his nine-month-old daughter and the child's grandparents. The fire started at about 3.40 a.m. on the 200 block of Woodlawn Avenue, officials said. The fire quickly engulfed both sides of the home causing a partial roof collapse. The baby, identified as Milani Sanders, and 42-year-old Tiffany Abrams Jones were found dead at the scene, officials said. Three people were taken to an area hospital with burn injuries. According to officials, 50-year-old Prince Jones succumbed to his injuries on Sunday. Prince Jones and Tiffany Abrams Jones were the baby's grandparents. Detectives were able to retrieve video from cameras in the area and speak to witnesses. A witness told detectives that on the night of the fire one of the female residents of the home, who is also the mother of the nine-month-old, received a text message from the baby's father, Michael Sanders, telling her to get their baby out of the house. According to investigators, Sanders took a taxi from Trenton and was seen wearing a dark-colored sweatshirt, a mask and white gloves. He was dropped off near the home on Woodlawn Avenue about 15 minutes before the fire broke out. Detectives also obtained surveillance video from the Fast Track gas station about 10 minutes before the fire, which showed Sanders buying a torch lighter and cigars. Sanders was taken into custody early Monday morning at a hotel in Plainsboro, officials said. The prosecutor's office has filed a motion to detain Sanders pending trial. 
This is one of the saddest stories we covered. Our prayers goes out to the friends and family of the victims. I will be updating you guys as this story develops. So hit that subscribe button for updates and additional news. What are your thoughts on this father killing his daughter and ex-girlfriend's parents? Let me know in the comment section below. And hit that subscribe and like button before you go. Thanks for watching.